What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Panther and welcome your faces to another commentary! In today's commentary, we're going to be discussing the fact that it looks like theater mode for Black Ops 3 on the PS4 is kind of glitching out. You know, we've been seeing a whole bunch of random things popping up in theater mode that really shouldn't be there. Like, for example, there's, you know, the spike gun from campaign in the box in theater mode, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. There are a couple of other like really weird glitches. Some guns would actually like transfer into another one like like you would knife with the ray gun, which doesn't make sense because the ray gun isn't really a knife. But this kind of, you know, is interesting because we did have a pretty big update with Black Ops 3 recently. And they also did add in new weapons. They added in the Galil and the Ballistic Knife. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this could all entail of, but my guess is if Treyarch decided to be nice enough to us, maybe they put these guns into the game and maybe they're waiting for another update to come out just to make sure that everything is fine, everything is A-OK, -okay, and maybe they put like the Galil or the Ballistic Knife in every single Zombies map. How cool would that be if they actually added in the Galil and the Ballistic Knife so we can get the Lamentation again and then we can get the Kraus Refribula- oh dude. Oh, dude, that would make me so, so happy. Now, we don't really understand the whole reason for this glitch, but if you go and watch COD Zombies HQ, there was a little thing where he said that someone else and him were talking, and he said that maybe in the game, you know, they indicate each weapon to a specific number. So if they add in another weapon, then maybe the numbers could be shifted possibly, and they didn't really catch that, and that could explain why in theater mode, a couple of the guns are not what they should be because the numbers have transitioned awkwardly and they haven't really fixed that or tweaked it yet. So who knows? This could be really, really interesting if this does come to pass. But going back to talk about the spike gun, this is absolutely insane. This picture is on uh, Mr. Dalek JD's channel. This is absolutely crazy. But if we get the spike gun from campaign in zombies, That'd be absolutely crazy. That'd be probably the most insane thing ever. And this is just really making me happy because back when Shadows of Evil was out and the Giant was out, I mean, there weren't really a whole lot of great guns in the box. I mean, every every gun in the box was really good and you could use it. So we didn't really have a whole bunch of box variation. And plus, there weren't enough weapons in there anyways, so they had to throw in wall weapons, which was kind of a disappointment. But then, you know, more maps came out and they started adding more of the DLC weapons into them. So the box kept getting like a greater and greater chance of getting like, you know, a bad weapon or a good weapon. It was more of a trade-off when you hit the box because you didn't know what you were going to get. And then Revelations hit, and then there's just a whole variety of weapons in the box. Now, yes, most of them are still pretty good, but this just makes me kind of happy because, I mean, I love the Galil. The Galil is honestly my favorite gun in all of Call of Duty Zombies. Like, seriously, if I could go back to play Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, and I only had to use one gun, it's 100% going to be the Galil. It wouldn't be no Ray Gun Mark II, wouldn't be the Ray Gun, it wouldn't be like an Ice Staff or something. 100% I would just pick the Galil. I love that gun so much. So if they did this, how many people do you think would go back and start playing Zombies because they want to get some of the new weapons from the box? If they are adding in a whole bunch of DLC weapons into Zombies, this could give us a better opportunity and a better chance to make a lot more content. We could do a whole bunch more challenges. So I'm not really 100% sure. Does this mean that we could be getting some new guns in Zombies and we're just kind of waiting for a new update to come out to release these guns into Zombies? I don't know. Would that make me happy? 100%. I would be ecstatic. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. I gotta go. You know, today's been a stressful day. I gotta get a whole bunch of stuff done. But tomorrow, I got a good video planned for you guys, so stay tuned. My name is Ben Panther. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.